Have you seen latest racing games? They look amazing. The graphics are beautiful. And I want that. As a lot of you know, Trisha Drift is a racing game I've been working on for over 8 months now. To start this devlog off, in the last episode I added some new terrain and simple streets. They look really bad. So I fixed that. So trying to fix that was a very tedious process. And let's get into that. Obviously finding the right solution wasn't easy since I am a solo developer working on a giant game. So I thought to myself what solution can we do in order to make the terrain look good without spending much money on some system. So in the end that bike fired a lot and I ended up buying Gaia Pro for a lot of money. And I mean that seems to have sorted out the issue right and this is how a month's worth of research began so after learning a lot about shaders i learned that specific cameras need to render this specific part in order for the grass to work properly still everything looked a bit weird this wasn't only due to the fact that the streets seemingly blended together with the terrain this was also due to the fact that the colors just weren't correct. Everything had this weird orange touch to it and I think that looked really weird and I also got this feedback from my playtesters. So I decided to change the post-processing. This was either a very good idea or the most stupid idea I ever had. The good thing is it looks good now but the performance is really bad. Sorting out the performance issue wasn't an certainly a hard thing to do, but the main problem is finding out what the right solution to fix that problem is. Because, as you can see, Unity's profiler is, let's just say, complicated. Everything, thankfully, was fixed by just not updating the light every frame. After spending so much time working, I decided to take a break. I mean, the visuals look great, but we still need somewhere to drive. So I decided to spend some time thinking about the map and the story. In the end, I came out with seven different cities that each have a different story and background. An example for these cities would be Ofstal. It's a sprawling city known for its arena. There still are a lot of other cities and I won't show them in this devlog because you still need to play the game and the cities should play a major role in the story. So I'm just showing you kind of a sneak peek. With that in mind, what do you think of the new cities and the new visuals? Write down in the comments below and it would mean a lot to me if you would hit that subscribe button.